So now this is uploaded as a template, I can move across into the Send tab on Adobe Sign. So this is where we're going to actually send the file out. So I click on Files. There's, of course, there's a few document sources I can provide. Let's go into the Library Templates, and there it is at the top. Let's choose our file. Now we've got some um, features here we can look at. So I'm going to add me as a form filler the very first time around. And I'm going to fill the form out. And then the second person is going to be my customer. In this case, this person on the fly. And their role is going to be a signer, approver, acceptor, certified recipient, form filler, or a delegate. We can also add second level authentications like password, social, or a third party service with phone and SMSs. So we can really beef up that e signature, so to speak. I'm going to pick the message template that suits this one. I'm going to personalize that with my customer. Hello, Frank. And then the document is ready to send. But before we go, we could also password protect. We could set reminders. And one of the great things is, even though it's in English, I can have the signing experience of one of 35 languages, Indonesian, Vietnamese, Chinese, etc. Right, let's hit send and away we go. My documents, my workflow upload to our servers in Sydney on AWS platform, and they push back to me as the pre-filler. So I'm going to select my, um, my title there. Now here I'm going to put my invoice number in. Now notice it's four digits because we set that parameter. If I do five, it's wrong. If I do three, it's wrong. So I really can control data on these. And then lastly, I'm going to put the amount that I'm going to charge for my services. And this is going to become part of my invoice. And then all I do is hit submit to send this through to my customer. Now, if I move over to the Manage tab now, I can keep tabs on all my documents that are out there. So up comes my documents. I can see what's in draft, what's been signed, uh, what's been rejected, uh, what's in draft mode. And also, I can edit my templates. Now, clicking on the, the document we just sent, I can see the document. If I wanted to, I could share that with somebody. I can also send reminders and see the history. Now, the history is important because I'm going to get an analytic when this person views the file, then signs. Now, on planet Earth somewhere, my uh, customer is going to receive their sign form. All I need is a modern browser, no proprietary software, and they're going to get this email. Now, we can brand this with the branding quite easily. So we can do headers, footers, taglines, and when they tap on it, a modern browser is all they require to access the sign service. Once they do that, they're going to get a little message saying what to do, and now they can go through and fill out the form. So in the case there, put their name in, put their addresses, etc., and start to fill out all the information on a mobile device. Now, it comes time now to move down to where the banking information is. So I want you to notice, as we enter the banking information in here and tab forward, you'll see the data masking. They're just dots. So it's maintaining the privacy of my particular customer. So if anyone sees this contract, I'm not going to expose those personal details that we hold so dearly. Now it comes time to sign. So when I tap on the signature field, you notice it pre-populates because I've saved it to my profile. I could use a system font. I could draw it with a stylus, mouse, or pen. Or I could upload an image or take a photo of an image, say on a bit of paper or on a napkin, and add that as my signature. Or I can remain anonymous and not save to our system. I click Sign, and the transaction's done. So I click on the Done tab. I give it a couple seconds, flick down, and I look at there is an email, and that's my copy of the signed as the customer. And as the sender, as the accountant, I'm going to be notified immediately across all my devices that it's been signed. If I refresh my browser and come back into the Manage tab, you'll see that move down into the Sign button, and we've got ourselves a legally binding contract. So that's the power of Adobe Sign. Sign anything with anyone, anywhere.